in today's video I'll be showing you a few things that you can do to hopefully resolve the problems that you are having with Call of Duty Vanguard Open Beta. Perhaps you're having connection issues or the game's lagging, glitching or crashing or perhaps you just simply cannot boot up the game. So like I said by doing the things I show you in this video you will hopefully be back in the game in no time. So the first thing you need to do is simply ensure that you have the latest Windows 10 updates installed. So to check this all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon. You now need to click on settings and we now need to click on update and security and you now need to click on the check for updates button. If Windows does detect any new updates it will then install them. Once they have installed go ahead and restart your computer and then launch the game and see if that resolved the issue you're having. If it didn't detect any new updates, then the next thing you need to do is just ensure you have the latest graphics card drivers installed for your graphics card. I will put the links in the description below to AMD and Nvidia and Intel so you can download those drivers and install them. So after you've done that, go ahead and launch your game again and see if updating the graphics card drivers help resolve the issue. So the next thing we need to do is just ensure your security is not causing the connection problems and the launching problems of Vanguard Open Beta. So if you're using Windows Defender, I will show you how to do that in this video. If you're using another third party security program, you will have to figure out how to allow Vanguard through your firewall. Or you could always just disable your security just for a test and then launch the game to see if you have the same problem. If you don't, then you know it's the security calls and the problem. However, you will not be protected if your security is disabled. So just keep that in mind. So if you're using Windows Defender, we need to open up the start menu and you now need to type in Defender. And you then need to click on Windows Defender Firewall. We now need to click on Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. And you now need to scroll all the way down until you come across Call of Duty Vanguard Public Beta. You now need to ensure you have a tick under private. If you do not, then you need to click on change settings and you then need to just tick private and then you press OK. If you do not have an option for Fangar Public Beta, then you need to click on allow another app and then you need to find the fangard.exe and then add it to the list. So if you didn't have a tick in the firewall or it wasn't added, then go ahead and launch the game once you've added it and accepted it and then that should resolve the problems with the game not launching and also any connection issues you were having. The next thing we want to do is find the Call of Duty Vanguard shortcut. As you can see, I've got mine on my desktop. If you don't, then you will be able to search for it in the start menu or go to its location in File Explorer. We need to right click on the shortcut and go open file location you now need to right click on the Vanguard launcher and you now need to go to properties. We now need to click on compatibility and you now need to tick the option that says run this program as an administrator and press apply and OK. You now need to do the same for the Vanguard.exe. We need to right click, go properties, compatibility, run this program as an administrator, apply and OK. Once you've done that, go ahead and launch the game and see if that helped resolve the issue you were having. If running Vanguard Open Beta as an admin didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing you need to do is just ensure you do not have anything open when you're launching Vanguard. So go ahead and close down any programs like Firefox or Chrome, any web browsers. If you've got music players going, if you're using MSI Afterburner, just close down absolutely everything. Once you've done that, see if that resolved the issue you're having. Because one of the programs you're running in the background could be conflicting with Vanguard, causing it to crash. So the next thing you want to do is ensure that your computer, if possible, is plugged into the internet using a cable. It's a lot more stable than Wi-Fi. If you're using Wi-Fi or wireless, you could end up having quite a few connection issues. So if possible, use a cable and it will give you a much more stable connection, making your game run a lot better. Now we need to go ahead and launch Call of Duty Vanguard. I'm going to launch it now. Once you have launched Call of Duty Vanguard Open Beta, we now need to select Settings. And you now need to go across to Graphics. 
and we now need to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you now need to select restart shaders installation. We now need to go restart and this is going to delete the shaders cache and recompile all the shaders. This can resolve a lot of issues when it comes to the graphics in Call of Duty Vanguard Open Beta. Also, another option if you have it enabled is toggling NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency to Disabled. If you do have the option to disable NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, then go ahead and restart your shaders installation again load into game and then see if it made a difference. If it didn't, then you can always enable it again. But once you have enabled NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency again, go ahead and restart your shaders installation. Something else to ensure is you have not hit your maximum VRAM usage. As you can see at the moment, I am slightly below the maximum. If you are pretty close to that bar, then you will end up having graphical problems within Vanguard. So go ahead and reduce some of your quality graphics settings to help bring that bar down. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video did help you out and you enjoyed it. If it did, smash that like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.